Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as oh, shit. Yeah, pros. <laughs> I'm reading for uh, water signs. <laughs> Sorry, I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to that notification bell, right? Uh, to keep track as well, I make more videos uh, to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. Like the information in the description box below. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see what's going on with the water signs. What's going on with the water signs here? So deep in my feelings. I keep hearing that song. Mm. So somebody could be deep in their feelings. So we have a Libra here. You might be dealing with the Libra or this Libra could be doing this. Um, they're trying to keep their, your, your siblings away from you or you could be trying to keep their, your siblings away from them or crossing. You could be trying to keep their siblings away from them. Okay, there's a lot of um, a lot of talking, a lot of backbiting. Someone is using family members to kind of keep things apart or more so in a, a to me, it feels like they think this is balanced by doing this with this Libra energy here, or you could be dealing with the Libra, okay? But with this Thief card here, they don't want you to be around other people. They don't want you uh, co-mingling with others. They kind of want you to be by yourself, okay? And they're really perfecting this, all right? Keeper, you're not your sister's keeper. You're not your brother's keeper. So this person is trying to create some kind of disaccord. It could be a parent. It could be a friend. Family members, take it how it resonates, but someone is definitely making sure that you are not communicating with your siblings because they don't want um, you talking to each other to get, you know, because when you put two minds together, two brains together, you're listening to what this person's saying, and now they're listening to you, and it comes together, and you'll be like, well, now we can figure out what's going on. There's holes in this story, and they don't want the holes to come together as one, all right? So they're doing a lot of talking, a lot of um, misguiding is what I'm hearing as well. A lot of thri th Lord th thievery, <laughs> thievery in the background. Okay. Yeah, change is coming though. Wheel of Fortune. Um, I just did a read a water sign reading, um, not too long ago in regards to stepping up into your active duty, and that means being a karma of other people. Defeat Five of Swords. Listen, you have the energy. You you have all of the great essence. You have everything that you need. To, and I'm going to say plain simples, plain talk, bad manners. You have everything you need to massacre to fuck out this person. Okay? Enough is enough. This person has been doing this for you for a very long time. And you keep turning the other cheek thinking, okay, things will go, you know, uh, things will die down. Things will be cool. But I really, and this could be a continuation from the other water sign video that I've done. But you really need to step into your power now. There's no more hiding. There's no more faking the funk. There's no more thinking that you're weak. Oh, I can't do this. It's stronger than me. That's bullshit. Because one thing that I always say, when somebody got to do work against you, they weak as fuck. They started it. Now you finish it. Okay? Always remember that. Let me don't say that part. Anywho, um, people that have to do candle work or have to throw projections onto you, they are weak as fuck. That's how they feel about themselves. And that's why they're trying to project it onto you. Because they want you to feel how they feel. So what they're doing is damage control here. By not allowing you, allowing you to be around family members, to be around friends. Because you could call your friends your sis, your bro as well too. But this person don't want you to be around nobody because they want you to look like you, you know, you, you're a little, you're a little off, you're a little crazy. You know what I mean? They want you to feel defeated. They want you to feel like everything that you do, it don't fucking work. And that's not the, that's not the truth. They want you to feel um, very scared with the Knight of Pentacles. They don't want you to um, to be thinking about anything. It's like their way or the highway, basically. And that's just not going to work. It, it's, just, it's just not going to work. Okay? Page of Swords, they may want you to talk. They may want you to be in your head a lot. Um, they may want you to overthink with the Knight of Pentacles. What did I do wrong? Is this going to be over? Uh, you know, I didn't deserve this. Why is this happening to me? Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. That same energy that they throw in towards you, you need to repurpose that shit and send it the fuck back to them. Because they're not stronger than you. They weak as fuck. That's why they had to initiate this work. 
They're not strong. They're not strong in you. And I need you to understand it. You don't understand the, the, the power that you hold, the raw power. Not just no type raw, that raw essence of power that you create, that you create and you have within yourself, within your heart space and your portal. You're not even realizing your potential. You don't realize the power that you hold. And I feel like, honestly speaking, like I said, plain talk, bad manners. I feel like you're afraid of yourself. I do. I do. I feel like you're afraid of your own power. I feel like if you were really able to show that side of yourself to other people, it would scare the fuck out of you. Because you were like, yo, I got all this energy. I got all this power inside of me. And I can obliterate these bitches out here. Yeah, I said it. Because some of these people out here, they deserve it. And they have been bothering you. And they have been tampering with your, your spirit, your mind, your soul, your happiness, your money, your protection. Everything for, for days, for weeks, for months, sometimes even years. And it's up to you to put a stop to this. It's up to you to put a stop to this. They coming to you. They challenging you. Because they think that you ain't got no kind of power. They think you ain't got no kind of energy. They think that you weak. So that's why they come into you to start and to incite stuff because yeah, she ain't going to do nothing. He ain't going to do nothing. I could do whatever it is I want to do to them. I could walk all over them. I could say whatever it is I want to do because I just know that they're not going to do anything to me. Or they can't do anything to me. Show them. Show them otherwise. And you ain't got to do it out in the public if you don't want to. But show them that raw power that you hold inside of your hand and in your heart and also in your mind. Show them that raw power that they are dying to receive. Show them that raw power. And I'm telling you, when you release that shit and you are continuous with that shit, and you start to see your enemies fall day by day, hour by hour, you're going to realize your true raw potential. And even so, your enemies is helping you to step into your power. Don't be afraid. They're literally challenging you. I dare you to show me who you are. Show them. Show them. Put your money where your mouth is because they really think that you're weak and there's nothing weak about you at all, period. Ain't nothing weak about the water signs, period. Y'all know I love me some water signs because I'm a Scorpio, so I love y'all. Ain't nothing weak about y'all. There's nothing weak about y'all. Some of y'all are afraid to execute. I don't know, I don't know, I'm scared. I don't know, I don't know, I'm scared. Nah, baby. Don't be scared. You have every right to protect yourself. Sometimes you are this person's karma or you are a person's karma. And you have every right to obliterate and destroy anything or anyone that's in your fucking way. Get out of my fucking way. Period. Look at Lord Ganesha. You work with Lord Ganesha. He's one of one of many energies or deities that is known for breaking obstacles or breaking blockages. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> See what else? It's just the gall and the fucking audacity of these dirty bum bitches. Cause this is this is dirty bum bitch energy. It's, it is. And I know that you like to be in your lie and you like to be happy and perky and stuff like that. You need to be in your dark energy. You need to obliterate. Tsunami. Tsunami they ass the fuck up on out of here. Cause they just gonna keep coming for you until yeah, to death. To de death, as in you may be going deaf, or death, like a physical death. They keep coming for you. They want you to be completely down and out. They don't want you to have anything. And you're not understanding that? They're trying to place their foot on your neck because they don't want you to outshine them. They don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to get ahead of them. This is their tactic. You are the privileged lady. You don't even have to be a lady. You could be a man, but you are this privileged person gotta start acting like it get out of your head with this imprisonment i don't know if i should i don't know if i can do this i don't know if it's gonna work it's gonna fucking work if you believe in it the same way that they believe that they can they can do whatever it is to to uh destroy you is the same way where you can believe in yourself to know that you can obliterate and literally destroy your fucking enemies your enemy is gonna be your footstool and you're gonna be able to just walk right on top of them don't walk over them Walk on top of their motherfucking backs until that bitch crack. Did y'all hear what happened to that elephant? I don't know what area. I think it was Africa, but I'm not sure like which country. But I got wind of it. I, you know, I was reading a little bit. And the elephant, don't forget, right? Because people say I have a mind of an elephant, right? 
Don't forget all those things that they have done to you for the past years, past days, past weeks, past hours, past months, past years. Bring all that to the forefront. Place that shit into your energetic work and give them what they're looking for because that's exactly what they're looking for. This page over here is a balancer page, okay? This is a love and light page, but it's also a dark page as well, too. This page is ran by a Scorpio, so there are going to be some moments where you're not going to like what I have to say, and I'm okay with that because I'm not for everybody. I'm okay with that. But please know that this page here encourages justice, encourages injustices, also encourages for you to speak up about your injustice. This is what this page is for. This page is a... Uh, is a um, what do you call it? It's a balance. It's a balance here. So like doing shit to you and you know you ain't do nothing to them, unleash on their ass. Because changes is coming. It's going to be a message of concern for them. Because they really think that you are weak. They think that you have nothing. They think that, oh, well, it's just her. It's just them. Oh, well, they ain't going to do nothing. They haven't done anything for years. I feel like when you create this, because I'm hearing create, so you may actually sit down and create some kind of a spell work or some kind of something, right? You're going to come into a sudden windfall of wealth. Now, maybe that is the catalyst that is needed for you to get your ass up and do what you have to do, and that's fine. But I'm telling you, once this karma is rendered to this person, you're going to receive sudden wealth. You ain't going to have to worry about nothing. You're going to receive sudden wealth. And this is going to result in a death. A physical death. Yes, it is. Y'all heard me flip the cards, right? I know you heard me flip the cards. Okay. Do not be afraid to exercise your strengths. Because they think you weak. You ain't even got to say nothing to them. Show them. Show them through your actions. Oh, you think I'm weak? Okay, say less. Say less. I'm hearing years. This you you have a gift here. Your gift is in your spirit, is in your your it's in your heart space, is in your mind, is in your voice. You speak with such conviction here. This gift is going to bring you lots of fortune. You have to speak up on your injustices. You have to speak out on the things that people have done to you. Has it happened? Yeah, it happened. Is it the end of the end of the um? Is it is it the end of uh, end of your life? End of the uh, what, what I'm trying to say? Is that the end of the road for you? Is that the last stop? Meaning, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Cheer hurt my booty. What I'm saying here with this gift, this great fortune, message of concern, this change, change is coming. You are their karma. You. You are their karma. And it's up to you to decide how you're going to render this, this karma. Now, this message is not for everybody. This is message is for people that are on the right side of things, meaning you're not out there starting stuff. You're not creating uh, chaos and mayhem in no one's life, but you have every right to protect yourself. You got every right to protect yourself. And if anybody else tell you, oh, no, don't do nothing. Just sit there and just wait. And and, and, and karma going to get them. Sometimes you are they fucking karma. You got to get them before they get you. Because the way that this world is set up, even though you may be all love and light, this is a doggy dog world. And it's not too many of us that are very of the pure light or of, of high vibration. It's more so more we, we're dealing with this evil energy that is here. Okay, so it is very important to make sure, <laughs> show them what you made of. It is time. Your time is now. Show them what you made of. You know what's on the line for you? <laughs> this was on the line for you. Your gift, great fortune, sudden wealth is on the line for you. That's the big message of concern. That's on the line for you. But you cannot get to your wealth until you eradicate this infestation. 
until you eradicate this infestation that is coming in and settling into your home. It could be your physical home metaphorically, or it could be your home as in your body, right? People projecting onto you, oh, this person ain't this, this person ain't that, this person ain't doing what they're supposed to do, this person is lying, or they're creating lies and, 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 and illusions and all different types of stuff around you. It is up to you. You are the bearer. You hold the sword. You have everything that you need to obliterate and literally get rid of this person, destroy this person. Like I said, this reading ain't going to be for everybody. And if it ain't for you, toodles and sayonara. But for the ones that are wanting to balance both sides of light and dark, it is okay. You're going to be fine. Protect yourself. Do what you have to do. If you feel like you have been wronged or if you know that you have been wronged by somebody that you didn't do anything to you, all gates is open. It's hell time. It's death. It is the death. Death of a titan. It ain't going to be you, honey. It is not going to be you. Despair. This person is going to be in a lot of despair. Low self-esteem. You're going to see their drug use come out. Candle magic is definitely involved in this. ever have one of those moments where you think like everything is just collapsing before your eyes or just around you and all you can do is just kind of fall to your knees you ain't praying yet but you fall into your knees and you crying and you're not understanding why whoever you pray to god jesus universe you're not understanding why you're going through what you're going through why you never did anything to anyone you're the nicest person anyone will meet all these great things about you all these great attributes and characteristics about yourself but not everybody see you in that way and you're allowing people to continue to beat on you and to berate you it may not be a physical thing it could be emotionally, it could be spiritually, it could be financially, but you keep allowing people to berate you and make you feel like you ain't worth shit. And all you missing is this prayer. You got the anger inside. You got the tears rolling down your eyes, right? You got that rolling down your eyes and you don't know what to do with it. Pray, baby, pray. You need to pray. You need to pray for the downfall of your enemies and be okay with that. Because just as how they're able to do that to you and they're okay with that, you got to be okay with getting rid of them as well too. Just as they're okay with getting rid of you, be okay with getting rid of them. It's either you or it's them. And I really hope, I really hope you put yourself first. I really hope you put yourself first and you get rid of them before they get rid of you. Okay? So that's all I have or it's not. I gotta keep going. Okay. Spirit want me to keep going. <sighs> confused. They may want you to be confused. They don't want you to be around anybody. Nobody. They just want you to be out, dead and out, sickly, desolate, broke, uh, fighting. They want you to, to, to receive help from other people. They don't give a fuck about you. Let's talk raw. They don't give a flying fuck about you. And it's evident. And you see this, you're feeling this, you may be even hearing this. You see that what they're doing to you is not helping you. And you just keep turning the other cheek like, oh yeah, it's just, it's going to go away. No, it's not going to go away. Only way it's going to go away is when you decide to do something about making it going the fuck away. That's the only way it's going to go away. Like people say in Trinidad, take my stupid advice. It may not be stupid. It's just a, it's a cliche, right? It's just a saying that we say in, in Trinidad. Take my stupid advice. So pick sense out of nonsense. You're the one with the sense. You're the one that's very sensical. They're nonsensical. They're doing things to you um, through ego. You're doing things through your heart. There's two different things. What you think going to win every time? The ego or the heart? Let's talk about it. Is the ego going to win or the heart going to win? Heart always win. Sometimes that heart got to turn just a bit to show them and let you know I'm not one to fuck with. 
you're going to have to exert that energy. You're going to have to exert that power that remains so dormant and remains deep within yourself that you are afraid to conjure up because you are afraid to hurt somebody. And I'm not talking about a physical hurt. We're talking about spiritual. I'm all for an eye for an eye. I'm all for an eye for an eye. <clears throat> Someone was doing sex magic on you to keep you stuck. You may have been stuck with someone or may feel stuck with someone, but let me tell you, you are the justice that they they are begging you. They are begging you to give them the justice. And I'm like, legal matters. You're going to get justice in legal matters. Lying, karma, you are that divine feminine. You could be masculine as well too. Just take a high resonate. But baby, you are the karma. You are the karma. Realize this, without a divine feminine, divine masculines wouldn't exist. We just going to keep it a being here. Without a divine feminine, masculines wouldn't exist. And a lot of people like to sleep on women because we may come off as weak and docile and submissive. And we can't do this and we can't do that. Nah, baby. Life is, life is changing. This world is changing. And the underdogs, which I consider the divine feminine, we coming back on top. We coming back on top. This patriarchal society is crashing. All the things that they have done to keep us suppressed and keep us underneath their feet, that shit ain't working no more. You are their karma. Legal matters. If you're going through legal matters with this person or a person or a group of people, you are their karma. They have been constantly lying on you, cheating on you, berating you, downgrading you, doing all different types of stuff like that. You are their karma. If you have been minding your business and you've been staying out the way and you don't bother anyone and you just do you and they keep coming to you, bothering you and just trying to incite and create unnecessary, um, insidious uh, situations, you are their fucking karma. You have permission. You have that ability to fuck them up. And yes, I said it. If you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. Because it's, it's time for you to stick up for yourself. It is time for you to be proactive in your off offense and defense uh, work. Spell work. Yes, it is. These niggas ain't loyal at fucking oil. At fucking oil. Could be using oil. You never know. It could be some kind of oil. You just never know. And this person feels like they have gotten away. They feel so brazen. They feel brazen, like, yeah, ain't nothing going to happen to me. And all this time, they fighting you. And they don't even realize who the fuck they dealing with. They're not realizing that they're getting ready to awaken a sleeping giant, a sleeping dragon, a sleeping dinosaur. However way you want to look at it, you still sleep. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to activate your gifts and to unleash and man. On this page over here is self-empowerment. I'm here to help you step into your power, however that may look to you. But ain't nobody meek and docile over here. We don't do that over here. We stand firm in our shit. We stand firm in our power. And if I say something going to happen, it's going to fucking happen. And I say that with much conviction and much intention. All this shit that they doing to you, that they trying to do to you, all this shit is null and void. This shit don't even, it's not, it's not working. But show them who you are. And I'm telling you, once they feel just that little bit, because you don't even understand just that little bit of power that you have, you're not even going to use all of it. But just that little bit of power that you have, you're not even going to realize the catastrophic energy that you have behind that fucking energy that power behind you you don't even realize your own power you don't realize the type of energy that you got behind you and you only gonna use a little bit of it because you're still skeptical skeptical or you still might be skeptical exert your power just just a little bit and see it's gonna open up your eyes to so many things it's gonna open up your eyes and be like yo i did that yes about time you did it face your fears this bully is not going to stop this bully is going to continue until you transition until you leave this earth they're not going to stop until you leave this earth so it's either you or it's them and i'll be motherfucking damn if it's me because if you coming for me i'm coming for your neck yeah, you're going to be the head, headless motherfucker out here. And I'm going to put your head on the motherfucking effigy. And I'm going to carry that shit around. Like, yeah, bitch. 
I got you. But that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Doggy wow. I'm here. That's all I keep hearing. Anger issues. You may want a new job. You may be on the verge of eviction. I don't know. Hopefully not. No, 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 no. That's not house. That's not that's not house eviction. This okay, got it. Thank you. This eviction and this new job here represents the, the energy that you hold. You're going to have to step into your power. You're going to have to step into your calling. And that's what your new job is. You're being evicted from that old way of thinking. That old, um, old, uh, what's the word? Um, low vibrational, um, lackluster thinking. Oh, this ain't going to work for me. I'm not sure. Well, why would they do that to me? I didn't do nothing to them. I'll be nice to them. Da, da, da. People don't give a fuck if you nice and mean. Sometimes you really got to show a bitch who the fuck, who you are, what you made of. And this is the perfect time for you to show show them who you are, what you made of. Because like I said, this person going to keep coming for you and keep coming for you. And even after they try to take everything from you that they feel like they have, they still want you, they still won't try to keep coming for you because they don't want you to have any. Thing. Not an ounce of happiness, not an ounce of money, not an ounce of food. They don't want you to have anything. And they are willing by any means necessary to get rid of you. So the question for you today is, who's more important here? Them nasty low vibration motherfuckers that don't know who the fuck they dealing with when you decide to stand into your fucking power and unleash your fucking energy and your essence out into the fucking universe. And that should have a ripple effect and it starts to destroy everything that's in your way. Or you gonna allow them to dictate how you gonna live your life. You gonna sit here in a desolate energy. Oh my God, I'm always me. <laughs> and you ain't gonna do nothing about yourself. Which one is it? Which one is it? 